Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. In this video, we're talking to uh, some of the engineers about how the external dimensions of the Aptera are locked down now, so these dimensions are not likely to change, and how that they will have jacking points, and they will have tow points, and it will be towable by a regular flatbed tow truck, and they don't seem like they're gonna have any issues loading these on transports to deliver. So they seem very confident about that, and I think that's a good sign. Hey, Anusha. Hi. How How's doing? it going? How are you? Okay, maybe I'll ask you the question. What's up? Um, so I measured the the width of it. Okay. And you know, people have always been saying it's 88 inches. That's in the that's in the FAQ and all that. So okay. people are assuming that that's it, and people are always concerned about the width. Okay. They think it's too wide. Okay. Um, so I measured it, and it's 85 inches when I measured it this okay. morning. Is that geometry, like, finalized? Is that it? I don't think the width is going to be changing. Okay. Right? I don't think the width or the length is going to be challenging. It's like, if you look at that car compared to a regular car, or uh -huh. any regular car, I mean, sort of like goes through a drive-through, you can look at the parking structure, you can parallel park it. Yeah. Uh, the size is great for what it is. Uh -huh. I mean, I think that size is perfect for what we're trying to prove out. Uh, but I was wondering, like, are they, are you guys changing the geometry of the thing? That's, that stuff is pretty much locked in, right? It's pretty much locked in. I mean, our beta vehicle was the huge test for pretty much all that stuff. I mean, we, we tried to break it multiple times and we couldn't. Right. So that size is, that size range is where we're going to stay at. Okay. I don't think it's going to get too longer. I don't think it's going to get too wider. I mean, if you think about it, if you get too wider and you can't see the edge of the car, you can't really drive the thing. You need extra cameras on the side yeah. to see it on the side. But it, the size is perfect. Like me, I fit. I was the first person to get in there to actually see it uh -huh. the size, and, I, and it worked out really well. You mean the inside? Yes. Well, the inside's so way too it. big for me because I sat in it. <laughs> <laughs> I could barely, I could barely reach the pedals. Well, that's probably yeah. It was like I, the seat me. was yeah. all the way back. Yeah, no, yeah. And so it was, uh, it was too far back for me. But uh, yeah, the, the, it's plenty roomy. No, it's great. I mean, but I think people are like, uh, they. A lot of people were saying like 88 inches. Like they're one of the major comments is like, oh yeah, that's, that seems really really wide. But I was just noticing that it's actually not that wide today. No, I mean, like, you look at the cars everywhere. Like, look at the, no. you know, the Honda has. Look at what the Vivian has. Why are you going Porsche over there? Yeah. I mean, they're all going to be within the same range. They still have to fit inside a lane. Yeah. That car, if you go look at it driving down the street, it's well within the range yeah. of the line. So there's plenty of room. Well, one of the things that people will worry about is, like, when you put the car on a like a car carrier, mm -hmm. like the the wheel oh, you can track. talk to me about that. Okay, I yeah. do that all the time. Okay. <laughs> I'm the one who got this here. <laughs> okay. So what do you move it on? So we move it on a two car trailer. So we move it on a thirty foot trailer uh -huh. that we modified to have these cars. That I actually know. I actually modified it. I'll take the I'll take the review on that. Yeah. I had to modify the inside so we can fit two cars in there to make it work. And it's an enclosed carrier. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. So if you're working on like a regular flatbed, yeah. Plenty of space. It's a flatbed. It's an open. You have right. The car uh, trailer is just wide enough to get it onto the trailer. Um, we do have to take the wheel pants off just to make it fit, just for the ramp. Okay. But once it's inside, there's plenty enough room. Okay. Um, like any car you load it into an enclosed trailer, it's going to be snug. Uh -huh. It's not like you cannot fit it. But once it's in there, it's fine. Like. You know those regular tow trucks that have yes. the, the the bed? Yes. Will they be able to pull this on there? Yes. Okay. So the, the release version, the final production version, we are going to have tow points. Uh -huh. I am working with chassis team on that to yeah. make sure that we do have something there that's sound. Uh -huh. um, we're going to have plenty of tow points. We're going to have structurally sound tow points so that you know if a wrecker comes by or a flatbed comes by and they got to pick it up off the road, right? It's as simple as putting in the tow anchor. They hitch it and they're gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so no removal of the wheel pants is necessary. No removal of the rear side screw is probably going to be necessary. Uh -huh. There'll be plenty of jacking points to where you just plug in or twist in the jack point. Uh -huh. That's it. Do you guys have you guys figured out like where you're going to put the jack point for that's the class, wheels? That's uh, classified. So okay. I can't, I can't, can't talk about that, that yet. Sorry. Okay. No problem. I can tell you it's going to be there. Trust me. We're going to have something there, but I can't tell you where it's going to be exactly. I see. Uh huh. <laughs> yep, no problem. That's a, that's an answer I'm getting used to. No, that's fine. No, that's I fine. I, I get it. Okay, so as you can tell, they are not worried about transporting this thing, and it seems like they have very good 
um, ideas of what's happening, they're just not allowed to tell us yet. And um, it's interesting that he said that there will be like, he mentioned like a screw on jacking point, uh, which seems very interesting to me because that's something I hadn't thought of, that maybe there will be like a recessed um, area and they'll have like a, a thing that you can screw in there as a post to place a jack under. Uh, which I think is a pretty cool idea that I hadn't thought of until he mentioned it, which makes me think that's what they're doing. Although, you know, who knows? They didn't, they couldn't confirm or deny that. But the fact that he brought it up when I didn't even mention it makes me think that that may be uh, what's happening, uh, which is an interesting idea. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, thanks as always to our supporting members. And uh, have a great day, everyone.